Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, subscribe, and share? Today is the second part for, or I guess the third part, because the first one was the walkthrough um, of how to make this Field Notes travel journal. And so last time, in, if, in case you haven't watched that video, I basically put together this cover and we also glued together just a couple scraps of paper to put together for a pocket. And the one that I already have made is this one. And the pocket in the back is this, just cute little pocket down here that you can slip a card into. And then I have this pocket here. So uh, what we're gonna do today is do the rubber band so that we can, or the elastic I should say, so it can come around and hold any other items in place that uh, your traveler might have. So that is today's video. For this video, I grabbed my, just my little crocodile, and it, I love it because it comes in a little case and I have the big one too, and I have a video for that. I can put the links in there, but this is just the handheld crocodile. And um, because I'm lazy and I don't wanna go grab my big one, um, what I did was I did two eyelets and then the middle I just poked a hole because there's a knot here anyway and if you were to put an eyelet it wouldn't make a difference so that's pretty much how I'm justifying my laziness today and so we're just going to go with that. I'm going to put this pocket to the side here and then we'll uh, um, come to back to that. So for the for the big pocket, what we did was we just folded this piece of fabric over. We made a center crease here. And now I'm gonna put two holes. And true to Mona's style, um, I am not going to be measuring anything because why start now? Um, so, okay, so this handheld crocodile by We Are Memory Keepers, you just kinda um, squeeze it together. There's a little tiny lock button right there, if you can see it, and you just, push it down and it unlocks it. And you have two holes up here. The hole punches are here and they can, you know, they'll tell you like you, you don't even have to read it. It tells you how big they are, but you know, you can also read like, I mean, just see the hole. That's a big one. That's a small one. I usually go with the small one just because by the time you push the eyelet through, it kind of becomes a big one. So all I'm doing is because I don't have to measure, I'm just putting this right in the center of my spine here and punching a hole and another one here okay so those are my hole punches and my neighbor's mowing their lawn right now why i don't know why but they're always mowing the lawn okay and then um you just take your eyelet and it's this kind right here and you can see ink on my hand because I was doing a calligraphy with my daughter earlier today and it just I'm just a mess because I had to re-ink a couple fountain pens and that's if you see purple dots on my hands that's what it's from okay and I'm just kind of okay maybe I should have made a bigger hole there we go Whew, there's one and what you're gonna do here is that there's a like um flat and then there's a pokey side and you're going to put that pokey side right on the good looking side up here okay so that that little thing that pokes out you're going to put it up here and then you just give this a good squeeze and look it just whoop flattens it all out and puts your eyelet in it, it actually, I think the hardest part is just setting it inside the hole that you punched. This one already, okay. Golly tamale, I got fuzz all over it. I guess it doesn't matter if you get fuzz into your, well, maybe it does, I don't know. All right, so let's get this again. Just push through the nice pokey side into the nice part that kind of faces out good squeeze and there is your eyelet so very easy to use this thing go ahead and lock it back down set it into your handy dandy holder with all the eyelets in one spot like that's the most organized i will ever get push that out of the way and you're good 
All right, so we got the two eyelets in and then you take your awl or something sharp and what you're going to do is just locate the middle and then what I'm gonna do is I want this pocket, see how that part sticks out? I want that in there somewhere. So I'm gonna go just a little bit below so I'm not ripping it out if, you know, because of constant wear and tear. So that part is actually good because you have, you're going through the top layer of fabric, the bottom layer of fabric, and the pocket fabric. So you've got like three fabric layers. And I'm pushing the all, 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 all the way through. Don't you love the English language? So push that through. And now it's time for your elastic. So there's our three punches. And um, what I did for this is I knew I was going to tie it. So there's a little bit of tie. This is how it's going to be around. And then I need, I'm just measuring it. Okay, this is the way I measure. So it's going to need to go all the way around and then maybe a little extra. So it's about yay long, which is about a yard. And then a little bit extra for good measure because you never know. Okay, so normally I won't cut it because I don't know how much to use. But in this case, uh, what I need to do is I need to actually poke some of that through so that we get this band here to come up, okay? So I'm gonna actually just set that down. So you're going to connect, not connect, but hold this together and find the middle section. And then you're going to take this middle piece and then feed it through this hole. And I will tell you, this part's a little fiddly because it doesn't seem to wanna go through because, you know, also because I'm on the video, so of course it's not gonna go through when, I'm just like negative talking myself um, right now. Let me see if I can find a toothpick or something. I mean, I am in the kitchen. You should be able to find a toothpick. Oh, you know what? I am right by the drawer. So grab a knife, that'll work. Just something to kind of help it get through without cutting yourself. I have ink on my hands, I don't need blood. All right, let's see let's see how things go in the kitchen, right? A little crazy, a little graphic. Okay, so did I get that? I'll oh, use a fork, cause you know, I got stuff handy here. Seriously, it's not gonna come through? All right. Let's see what I can do to get it through. Okay, the knife part again. So the hardest part, obviously, is trying to get this rubber band to our elastic to come through. If you find um, like a small, ah, there we go. If you find a thinner elastic, by all means, get it. This is just the stuff I had left over from making masks. And um, so, I mean, and stuff I had left over from making masks. Yeah, there's a lot. And I wasn't about to go grab more. Well, I did grab some more that's in black because now nobody's making masks, apparently. Okay, so um, pull enough so that you get this. And this is a little loose, um, and that's really where I want it because um, I want this to be able to fit all the stuff that I'm going to be putting in there. So I'm actually even going to pull a little bit more Okay, so I fed it through, kind of take a look and see, making it a little loose because up here I have a knot. So I'm going to now knot this and I'm gonna do it a little loose so that I can kind of pull it in here. I know that makes no sense, but you'll see. I'm gonna pull it inside, there we go. And now I'm gonna pull it on the outside so that, there. All right, so what I did was I just kind of fed that through. There's your knot. Hopefully that kind of keeps it in place. And did I do two knots here? It looks like I did two, cause that knot looks a lot bigger than this one. Let's do two knots. And this is just like a shoelace knot. It's not, it's not a big deal. Okay, 
knot, 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 ha, ha, ha. Okay, so I did a bigger knot now, I'm remembering, so that it doesn't accidentally get to, gets yanked in there. Accidentally get yanked in there. Okay, so now this is what it looks like right here. And then you have these two kind of tail ends, and you're going to straighten those out because you're gonna feed one really easy. So just, just watch what I'm doing. You're just putting one into the, through the eyelet. By the way, if you don't have eyelets and don't wanna do that, just make a hole, it's no big deal. And then I'm bringing it up and around because I was like, uh oh, now how do I get it back? You know, just put it right, th right here and it looks so pretty. So it doesn't look funky at all. Uh, I like it, I like the way that looks. There we go, feed it back through and then you're going to look and see what I did here, which is in the blue book. I just tied a knot. So I don't know why I snapped that rubber band, but I did. So I'm just gonna now tie a knot. And so you can do it this way. Uh, you don't have to do it too tight, but you don't wanna do this one too loose hope that makes sense um, mainly because you're going to be putting books in you don't want them slipping out so I'm doing the same kind of a knot like a slip knot basically not a slip knot because not slip knots slip out but just one of these kinds of knots here and I'm leaving the tails just because I'm not positive if that's going to be a good size knot or not Ugh, my English language skills today horrible uh, once I figure out if this is a good uh, elastic tension, I will trim it so that it looks like this one. And I didn't even trim this one all that much. So it's like, you know, just maybe about an inch left on these. Okay, so now you're really pretty much at the end here. I'm going to go ahead and glue this pocket down over here. And it's my Fabrifix glue that I used in the last video. So... Flipping this over, uh, you know, uh, like I mentioned in the last one, it kind of globs up on you, even if it's nice and tightly closed. But like I said, this one's kind of getting old, so like me. And sometimes it doesn't want to come out. Like me. All right. Uh, don't let those little hairs go in because then it's gonna mess up your pocket mess up your pocket all right and i'll plop that down right here that looks good that's it that's all you have to do to make an extra pocket then i have my charlie pen by noodlers and it says charlie on there it's so cute and this has permanent ink and it's called Heart of Darkness. It's uh, actually really wonderful. If you wanna learn how to use one of these, um, I have a video on that as well because I was so excited to get this pen. And the cool thing is because it's permanent ink, it's kind of like a Sharpie except cooler. And then you can um, look amazing while you're using a fountain pen. All right, so I just put things because I couldn't think of anything else to write. So I just kind of jotted down things there. And now uh, you should let that dry up just a tad bit and your pocket and things like that. So let me see, I just grabbed a few pieces of ephemera like I did in this one here. So I'm just gonna put this um, tag in and then I have this from the, the planner also. It's like, go where the wind carries you or something weird like that. And then this I turned into a little notebook just with some extra journaling spaces. And it had like October, I think, as the tag time. I don't know. Um, and I have like a little paint chip. I like that it says salvaged on it. I have a little ticket and another little book, but I don't know 
if the, oh, it's from an envelope, by the way. It's like the inside part of an envelope and some of the leftover book pieces. So I'll just tuck that in and then just a little card that I made that gets tucked in. So there's all my little things in between. And speaking of in between, which one am I gonna put in between? I think I'm gonna put this guy in here. Okay, so here's how you add the other books, ready? You're gonna add this one in here, and I think this is great tension, so I may just trim it. But for the next side, what you do, or the next two sides actually, you just take a little bit more of the elastic and measure out just the amount for this. And then you want the knot, you know, in the back or in the front, doesn't matter. But you get an elastic in the back and you get one in the front. So all I did was I put it around the outside of this one. And that way, ta-da, you get an elastic for the back booklet. And where did it go? Here's the one for the front. See how easy that is? You just need really two pieces of elastic and you put those together. There's your... Uh, little mini books to write in and I put this one in the front and this here this here and we are done with our masterpiece so that is it I'm um, so amazing to make these and actually like because I was showing you all of this stuff it took me a little bit longer than you know than it will make take you to make these and if you do like a batch assembly line you can knock these out. So I hope you liked this video. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for some more upcoming videos. Talk to you later. Bye.